let me see if I can get somebody who be fine with texting, calling, um, video chatting, and then, you know, feel like just lead in their heart to fund my life. whatever up in here whatever I feel like talking about and today what I felt like talking about was the sugar baby lifestyle interesting story interesting fact I was um attempting to be a sugar baby for about a week okay because of that experience I felt like I wanted to make a video about it and I wanted to just talk about it because in the videos I saw about sugaring and all of that type of stuff I felt like they were leaving a lot of stuff out. They make it seem like it's really easy and it's just like, just do this and just do that and boom, you have a man sending you money for nothing, for free. But it's like, y'all are leaving out like some important details and I felt like this is a fun experience. Just make a video about it. Just give people some insight too, like about what exactly being a sugar baby is sort of like. I didn't actually get any money from any men so that's why I say attempt because I didn't actually get any money. And also, I only propositioned like one person. I spoke to a number of guys and a number of men during that time period. Maybe like, I wanna say like maybe like 15 different men. Why is my hair like, it's like cute, but then it's like annoying me at the same time. Like what should I do? Anyway, I messaged about 15 different men. I only propositioned one and um, he turned me down. <laughs> I was rejected. <laughs> I talked to this one particular, it was a different man. I talked to him like three or four days in a row and then we actually video chatted too, but I actually didn't get around to asking him because by the time that I was gonna ask him, I was just tired, child. I was like, I'm done. That was when I, that was when I had this epiphany, like this is not what everyone says it is. Like this is freaking hard. And I am in like a long-term relationship with someone. And um, that, yes, me and him, we talked about it. He was fine. In fact, he thought it was funny and he was like, go for it, do your thing, girl. A, 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 gang, gang. He was totally fine with it. He doesn't care what I do. We have an interesting relationship. I'll just leave it at that. The first thing you need to know if you're thinking about being a sugar baby is that you have to not care about that person's looks. Um, a lot of these guys who are really wealthy um, are not also really attractive too. Like, you know, they're older guys and older guys look old and stuff is falling and you have to be able to like want to look at them like and the thing is a lot of these guys are not good looking you are not picking the person based on looks you're picking the person based on the person who looks like they have a lot of money the second thing is you have to be able to be good at picking up like subtle hints on a potential sugar daddy's profile. Like you have to be able to pick up subtleties on their profile that will alert you that this person has money. Cause they're not gonna just say that. They're not gonna just advertise themselves as sugar daddies unless they're scamming you. You have to be able to see like, um, oh, their shirt is like, their outfit, their clothes look good quality. You have to be able to know what are some high paying jobs. Like they'll put little hints like whatever in their profile and you have to be able to pick that up. When you're first starting out, you don't even know what you're looking for. So that can be hard. Okay, third thing. What is this right here? This looks ghetto. I don't have anything cute I can put right here. Hey bunny, spice up my video. Can y'all see that bunny? <laughs> okay, third thing is you have to sift through scammers. The same way like you're trying to get something out of somebody, it's people out there who are trying to get something out of you too. You have to be able to pick up the signs of when someone is not a real, basically when someone doesn't actually have money and they're trying to get money from you to where they can end up, instead of giving you money, they can end up taking your money. Like if you give them your account number, they can end up taking your money. If you give them, if they send you a check and you cash it, they can end up taking your money. So it's like, it's like you trying to run some game, but then it's like other people trying to run game on you and you gotta watch out for that. It's like, <laughs> oh God. Why is this world such a bad place? Okay, the fourth thing is, um, all right, so like when you're trying to find a sugar daddy, um, one of the things that people will tell you is sign up for dating apps. Like sign up for like Bumble, Hinge, Tinder. But the thing is like these are dating apps. Like they are trying to match people, you know, for love. And honestly, being a sugar baby is sort of like dating, but it's like, you know, you're not, you're not looking for love, you're looking for money. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. 
relationships are always transactional. It's just like when you're a sugar baby, like you are looking for to receive money and then that the guy or whatever is looking to receive um, attention and you know, you and your beauty or whatever. These apps a lot of times, like if they feel like you're trying to sugar or be, or be a sugar baby, like they can like kick you off the app. Or like if you ask somebody, someone, and you ask them straight up like, hey, are you a sugar daddy? And then they say no, like they can get offended and report you and then you can either get suspended from the app or you can just get kicked off altogether. So it's like, <laughs> it's like you have to maneuver in a way that's like incognito and it's like you wanna be obvious that you're a sugar baby and you're looking for somebody, but, but you can't be too obvious because you can be kicked off. And so that's annoying too and I feel like that also is not talked about enough how, how you're basically in stealth mode all the time you're like a freaking like like you like a spy like oh goodness honey it's just it's exhausting another thing that you need to know is a lot of the guys that you're that you're gonna be looking to like whatever pair up with are gonna be old so like if you're someone in your 20s you're probably gonna be looking for someone in their like late 40s or late 50s and like that when you think about that that's actually really disgusting um it's actually gross a little bit like so when I was doing it I changed my name, okay, and I changed my age. And so I said that I was 26. So I was on two different dating apps. And the thing is, like, I would have like 55 year old men, like, who saw me and saw my age were like messaging me. That is so gross. 30 years younger than you, like, I could be your daughter. You have to be able to be a person who like doesn't isn't weirded out by that. When you think about it, it's kind of disgusting, like that these men are like old as dirt and like trying to holler these like little freaking like 25 year old girls. It's like ew. Seek help, please. Also, you have to be a person who doesn't care about meeting a stranger in public. Okay. First of all, okay, just pretend we're not in 2020 in the year of the pandemic. You have to be okay with meeting a stranger. You have to be like that type of person who doesn't mind like, you know, just taking that leap and just jumping out there. I mean, you're basically just crossing your fingers and hoping that they're not a murderer or somebody who's trying to like kidnap you or take you into a sex trafficking ring. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> you're trusting a stranger. You're trusting a stranger. You're like, you don't even know them. So it's like, so you have to be okay with that. You have to feel like you can handle yourself in that type of situation. So then you add the pandemic. And then that's a whole other situation. Cause like, let me tell you, these men were messaging me and they were saying like, yeah, I want to take you on a date. And I'm thinking like 250,000 people done lost their life this year, sir. And you want to take me out on a date? What? I never intended on meeting anybody in person. It was going to be video chat, period. If you don't want a video chat with me, then you wasn't going to be the one for me. And then that's not on that. Literally was an experience. Experiment. It was like, let me see if I can get somebody who be fine with texting, calling, um, video chatting, and then, you know, feel like just led in their heart to fund my life. Let's see. Like, it was just an experiment, okay? So I was never planning on meeting, these, meeting anybody in person. And, but like, you have to be the kind of person who's okay with meeting in person because a lot of these people expect it still, even in a pandemic, and it says, ah, Ain't nobody worth losing my life. Hey, ain't no amount of money worth risking my life getting COVID-19. Boy, you crazy. So I don't even know what number I'm on, but it's the next to the last point, okay? The next point is you have to be able to maneuver around getting physical with someone. With someone. A lot of these men just in general expect it. Whether you sugar with them or not. They you know how that is. Like when they take when they do something nice for you they're expecting um something in return a lot of times and uh, whether it's a regular dating situation or not so especially when you put money in there <laughs> like that expectation goes up like tenfold at least i think so some reddit threads about being a sugar baby most of the threads i saw the people were sexually involved with these men and um i did find some women um who like some youtubers on here who were not sexually active with their um, sugar daddies or whatever. But I think, honestly, I think that is, we don't have enough data to say what's the most, what's the most um, normal arrangement. We don't know, nobody knows. But I do know that you have to be able to kind of give a good excuse why you're not gonna be physical with them and you have to like know what to say. You have to know how to navigate that because if not, you're gonna end up probably going farther than you maybe intended to go when it all started. To me, the issue is being coerced 
to do that because you're getting paid. So that to me is like, if you wanna have sex for money, have sex for money. This relationship where there's like a power imbalance, I think that a lot of women and men end up having the sugar babies end up having sex with these men because they feel like they have to because i feel like they've been bought and paid for and that's why i'm saying like it can get kind of weird and i'm just like i just i don't i feel like that needs to be talked about a lot too like y'all okay so last point um okay one thing you need to know when you're thinking about being a sugar baby is you have to be okay with lying you have to be good at lying because you're going to lie a lot when I tell you, I ain't never lied so much in my life. <laughs> my age, name, where I was from, what I did for a living. I lied about everything. I lied about what I did that day. It's like a lot of lying. Some of the lying is justified. Like, you know, I don't need to tell my name to protect myself. But some of it is like hard to justify, like, you know, the amount that you have to, like, lie. And once you start lying, like what? You gonna suddenly just be like, hey, you remember one time I told you? Um, I worked at this place and I was like the manager. I was lying. <laughs> I ain't no manager. I work at McDonald's. Like, it's gonna be weird. Cause then you're gonna look like a liar and a scammer. Like, once you lie, you have to keep lying. And that for me, like, I'm just, child, one thing about me, I'ma tell you what's up. I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve and I kind of like, just tell like it is like that's just how I am and it feels good it feels good to tell you that your shoes are ugly when you ask me what I think so like that was the hardest part for me so when it came down to it sugaring did not work for me because um I just couldn't do all that stuff <laughs> there is a lane and if you can fit in this lane I applaud you and I know there are women who are fitting in the lane right now as we speak and they getting money and I, I really applaud them and um it ain't for me. People frame being a sugar baby like it's free money, but it's not. You're giving your time. You're giving your time. And it's a lot. Do you know how much time I spent texting that guy? I didn't want to talk to him, but I had to keep talking to him because I was like, well, you know, it takes a lot of work to keep that friendship going. Like he wanted to video chat me. He wanted to talk on the phone. Um, he was asking me to send him pictures. And I was just like, child, I'm, I'm over here like mixing up oatmeal bowls for my child i didn't send him any pictures but he was asking for him and it's like you know that takes time to stop and find a picture to stop and find a video to take a video you know or to take a picture for him and y'all are giving your time to these men like it's not free money the way you clock in at work like the way you go to whatever job you go in and you clock in they're paying you for your time these men are paying you for your time. The thing is, it's like erratic and sporadic and you really are just leaning on their goodwill. And I don't know, it just sounds like, uh. If I wanted a job, do you know I could go work at Comcast because they always hiring. You know I could go work at, um, be a contact tracer. I, I don't need this. <laughs> So anyways, um, I hope this video was a little bit informative and helpful. That's just my experience that I went through this last week trying to be a tempting child to be a sugar baby or whatever. Because I was like, I'm cute, you know what? Somebody might want to fund my life. Why, who am I Who am I to deprive these men of me if they want to fund me? But listen, like I said, it's just too much work. Like, it ain't for me. But... Thank you for watching my video and um yeah <laughs> i have some stuff like out i have like an ebook out i have a skillshare course if you sign up through my link and you get two free weeks on skillshare you don't have to watch my course but you can watch other courses on there so i'll leave the link in the description box for that and so yeah thank you for watching this video and i hope you guys have a good whatever day evening morning whatever okay bye